All right, guys, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. So we need to look at Booyan today. Um, Booyan, what can we say about this boy? Um, he seems like a pretty fun free-to-play character. Um, I'm glad to get this character actually in the game. Uh, this, like, monster from the Red Ribbon Army saga. Um, they gave him really good animations, which I do hate because he's a free-to-play character. I'd rather they just funnel more resources into the summonable characters, honestly, but whatever. Um, he has a lot of defense. I mean, some level of defense. I don't... Like, just because he's got damage reduction and stuff, though, does not mean you're tanky. <laughs> right? Like, it's... So, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Um, in terms of build, um, I mean, it's pretty clear. Crystal clear. Go dodge for this guy. Booyan has a very interesting ability. I want to just directly show this on screen right here. So... Uh, Booyan, after he gets hit seven times, he gets sealed. And then he loses 20% damage reduction. After he gets hit ten times, he gets stunned. So, Booyan does get weaker as he gets hit, despite his defensive ability. So, I've never in my life seen a more obvious dodge build character. Uh, let's jump in. Booyan... I mean, we saw it when I flashed it on screen real quick. I mean, I guess we need to talk about this right away. Booyan is not exactly on a ton of teams. Terrifying Conqueror and Dragon Ball Saga. Um, I guess I don't know the back... Shouldn't this guy be on Artificial Life? I guess I don't know. Um, yeah, I guess I don't actually off the top of my head know like what his actual backstory is. He's just a monster that they have in Muscle Tower, right? So let's jump in and take a look at him. He doesn't have a 200% leader skill. So, I guess we'll just run him on Path to Power Kid Goku's team. Alright, guys. Uh, I'm just gonna... We're gonna hop into a Supreme Battle Spectacle fight quickly. Uh, we're probably gonna get washed very fast in here. I... Freeze is gonna be stronger than Piccolo Jr. Let's put Freeze in front of more attacks. We're probably just gonna get absolutely bodied in here. With terif... We're running just terrifying conquerors. Um, but... I would like to put Booyan in front of, like, a real tough enemy. This Evolution Blue Vegeta certainly does do a lot of damage. Um, and we could see how Booyan could do. Plus, I do want to get it in the video here. This Vegeta does do a Key Blast Super Attack. So, we could see that's one thing Booyan has. He nullifies Key Blast Super Attacks aimed at him if his HP is 50% or higher when receiving the attack. So... Uh, Vegeta already supered. I don't think Frieza or Piccolo Jr. with Big Bad Bosses are in danger of taking damage. I did just want to show this opening turn just in case things went south for us. Because I, I have two Piccolo Juniors on my friends list. I have two. So, it's like I I would I just pray that we could see Booyan in action. Um, and then if it comes down to, like, you know... Just looking at what Booyan's stats are, we could go to a, a different event. Right. Um. Yeah, Frieza has some similarities with Piccolo Jr., no doubt about it. The thing that I've noticed about Frieza, Frieza's attacks are, are definitely more consistent, right? Like, we, you know, we took Piccolo Jr. into... It was the Beast Gohan fight where it happened, and Piccolo Jr. just supers once and then got killed, right? Like, that was tough. Alright, so we did good damage to Vegeta right away. Remember, this this was only a two-phase fight. Alright, so Vegeta supered pretty quickly. So, we could see him super here. Alright, we're gonna die. But, let's get Booyan in front of harm's way. Uh, what are Booyan's links here? Oh, this is actually quite good for us. Yeah, okay. So, our links are more than meets the eye. Tough as nails. Rider of an army. Thirst for conquest. Another good one. Incredible Adventure, Guidance into Dragon Balls, and Shattering Limit. So he does have two substantial links here. Tough as Nails is huge, because this is 20% defense and 5% damage reduction. Booyan is a defensive character, so that's good. Uh, and then also, Thirst for Conquest, remember, is 15% attack and defense. So, alright, here we go. We're gonna die here, because uh, you can't run Amond and Raisin outside of slot 1. Alright, Vegeta probably is going to super pretty quickly. We'll see. 84k? Huh. Yeah. 
I mean, he has 50% damage reduction, but it doesn't mean that much. He gets 50% evens for three turns from that. There's a dodge. Does also have a high chance to stun. All right, no super from Vegeta. Yeah, yeah, he's pretty shit, Booyan. He sucks. Like, his kit is, I think, fine for a free-to-play character, but it's just he's, he's free-to-play. His defensive stat is 7,000. Right, so... And by the way, that was with tough as nails up that he was taking damage like that. So, I mean, that's all it takes is just one turn like that to show that he sucks. Uh, a shame that Vegeta did not super him because we could have gotten... Um, we have to get the key boss notification in the video. I'll probably go to one of the immortal bosses so we can kind of... Wow, well, that sucks. Okay. Dodge it? No. Bye, Nappa. Slot three, just predict, just predict the slot three super. Um, I mean, that was kind of enough that we needed to see, right? Uh, I think we can hop right back. Let, let's hop right back in, though. Because we, maybe we could just easily get the key blast notification with the second Piccolo Jr. friend I have. Guys, I just wanted to show this quickly that uh, Booyan, unfortunately, was in slot seven. Um, yeah, I mean, we can't just get him turn one. So, we're probably just going to die before then. So, I'll just go to, like, one of the Immortal bosses. I would like to see Booyan get sealed and stunned, see these mechanics in action. Um, and then, of course, we got to get his Key Blast notification as well. Damn, if we had Booyan turn one, we would have seen it right there. All right. Well, sure. We'll, we'll see what happens. All right. Here we go. All right. Booyan. He's next to his best buddy, Piccolo Jr. We now also have Incredible Adventure. Uh, and, uh, oh, damn. Got into the Dragon Balls. That's what it's called. All right. Um, if we're above 50%, man, Key Blast off it. That's going to make this video much easier if we just quickly get this right, right in here. All right. Let's see. Okay. This is a good dodge. EDK, damn. Yeah. He needs a super first. Uh, and he gets 50% events for three turns with that. No super, huh? Uh, okay, sure. Whatever. Oh my god. It's gonna take my, like an hour to get that. Oh. It, it's spe very specific things like that. Like, it seems easy enough. And sometimes it is. You can just load in and, oh, we get it. But, it, like, it oftentimes just, I mean, maybe just, if it's just a me thing, it gets very frustrating. Because, like, you know, we'll go against the Key Blast Super and then it just won't super. I guess, okay. Sure. I'm on a racing out of slot one, so they're going to get cooked. Uh, we keep getting them on the same rotation. Okay, well, they're already built up, so I guess they're fine. Damn, we're going to we're gonna kill Vegeta right here. There's not really too much we can do about that. All right, I'll just find some other fight where they're doing a Key Blast Super, and we'll, we'll try and get Booyan to get that. Um, the only thing is I'm going to have to find, like, I... There's not, like, a ton of leaders for Booyan out there. We don't... We, we, we don't... Like, there's not... Like, it's just... It's just basically Path to Power Kid Goku and Piccolo Jr. I guess there's probably a lot of STR Final Form coolers around there. But that should show you the state of Terrifying Conkers. We're running LR STR Cooler as our lead. Not exactly the craziest. Uh, we can get this next turn against Evolution Blue Vegeta. So, Booyan, member did get a super in. That's 50% defense for three turns. Let's do that. All right, 226k defense. Oh, okay. Get that. Maybe we could win. Booyan. Soloing Evolution Blue Vegeta. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, huh, it's a lot, it's a lot of, a lot of damage from normals. Whew. Okay, uh, so remember, Booyan gets two key, 240% attack, and even to the start of turn, he gets a 50% damage reduction start of turn, then he gets 240% attack, and all enemies, oh boy, okay, all enemies lose 24% attack and defense after receiving an attack. Which we did see. And then Piccolo Jr. gets smoked. 
Did you see that? It showed his... Like, we saw, like, his KO screen for a flash right there. Dude, the Vegeta styles on you so hard that he actually gets the KO screen on you? Are you kidding me? Y'all saw that, right? We actually got KO screened by the boss. Damn. That's crazy. All right, guys. Uh, finally, I've been searching long and hard in this game to find an event maybe that we could try and get the key boss notification. Maybe we get a lot of hits. Um, and we could potentially show a lot of this stuff. So we'll have Booyan next to um, uh, LR, Pilaf, Shu, and Mai. Fortunately, my Pilaf, Shu, and Mai are only 55% still at the moment. We'll get quite a few links up for Booyan, which is fine. All right, let's uh, just go ahead and jump in here. Uh, hopefully, Vegeta will just super attack right away for us. That would be ideal so we could see the Key Blast notification. Um, again, I want to get that, and I do also want to show Booyan get stunned, I think. All right, so there's that. That's a, a dodge, of course. Um, so Booyan gets two key, 240% attack, and he start a turn. The 50% damage reduction. He gets a 240% attack, and then all enemies minus 24% attack and defense. After he receives an, an attack, after he gets hit seven times, he gets sealed uh, and loses 20% damage reduction. Then when he gets hit ten times, he gets stunned, and then he has the key blast nullification above 50% HP as well. Uh, okay, so, uh, whew, that's what the turn looks like when it's not the Booyan rotation, huh? You guys see why this gets frustrating? Oh my god. Vegeta, now that Booyan's on rotation, he's gonna super right away. Yep, there it is. Alright, man. Sure, sure. I'm used to it. I expect it. I know. I know how it goes. Uh, the only thing is that this Vegeta is pretty weak. I mean, I was looking around. Kid Goku friends are pretty non-existent. Um, Kid Goku at this point is power crept quite heavily. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Uh, like, it's, you know, times have changed. Kid Goku is just not as strong as he was, you know, a while back. So. All right, this is good. Hopefully Vegeta, Vegeta does still do a Key Blast here. Hopefully we can see it. Um, or him getting hit a bunch of times would be fine as well. We're at 254k defense. Yeah, Booyan is very bad. Um, I like what they did with his kit, but, like, he's terrible. Like, it's just, just hit, like, being a free-to-play character, your stats are just so low that it, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work, right? Like, like, kind of like, like, this level, super, please. Oh, wow, nice, Okay. So we get to see the key blast solidification. Bam! Love that. That's cool. That is fun. That's fun. That is fun right there. We like that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, man. I like you see like like his animations. I mean, they look pretty good. Like they look not bad. But I, oh, did I, I? I said his defense was seven thousand, but I didn't show it, did I? That that's a big thing. That is hurting him a lot. Right? Like, if, if Booyan had, you know, 13,000 defense or 14,000 defense instead, um, it would be quite a different story for him. So, we look at him, and there there's his rainbow stats. Right? Like, it's just not... You know, give him what Bulma is rocking, and Booyan is a good character. Like, if Booyan had Bulma's stats, like, I, I would like him. I, I probably still would want him to have... His exact design, I would want him to have 80% damage reduction. And then I still think he could, you know, you could keep him losing the damage reduction and stuff like that, right? So, like, so Booyan could have 80% damage reduction and then he loses 20% after he gets hit, just the same way he is now. But 50% does not cut it. That's one of the big things uh, I'm talking about with Bardock is that, like, Bardock, even if you had a. a team of low class warriors for that base form Bardock, the EZA Bardock that 50% damage reduction on him is like not gonna amount to much of anything right like it doesn't make him crazy I mean after he supers you know four times the damage reduction would be very impactful but it takes a little bit to get there alright this is good um, Vegeta is being very kind to us actually now and just lining up all these attacks right in front of us which is really good. So with Vegeta just lining all these attacks up for us. I'm going to try and hold back a little bit if possible. 
Uh, so we could, you know, again, see Booyan get sealed, see him get stunned. The full dodge build is good for him to perform well as a character, but for, like, this kind of, like, showcase situation where I just would like to show him sealed or stunned or whatever, like, like it, it doesn't work super good for, for that purpose. But, like, in terms of Booyan actually being a legitimate character, like, yeah, dodge is yeah, 100% what you'd want to do with him. Okay. So we, we've been hit a fair amount of times. It's funny, like, we, yeah, dude, he's dodging like crazy. God damn it, dude. The one time I need him to not dodge. All right, hopefully Pilaf does not, like, kill right here. Oh, that's good. Okay, nice. Kami does not have it in him. Yeah, Kami, you're not built like that. Kami's not built like that. What? Kami. You dirty dog. He tried it. Kami? Hey. I am the greatest Kami defender. No way. Kami is... He almost ruined it for us. Alright, this is good though. Again, the slower we go... I, I do just want to show these uh, like status effects that Bouillon has. There's not many characters who've gotten stuff like that throughout the years too. Uh, maybe like LR, Yamcha, and Poir, right? Like they, I think mean, you would get stunned if there was a heavy on rotation, right? So is this, this is just a sealed right here. So, so, okay. So now Booyan has been hit seven times. So he's sealed and we lost 20% damage reduction. We need to make sure that Kid Goku gets seven orbs right here. Because Booyan probably could take some real damage, potentially. The other thing about Booyan getting sealed is it takes away our ability to get that 50% defense for three turns, too. Uh, okay, Booyan. You can dodge the super, bud. Oh, okay. He's just way above this Vegeta's pay grade, huh? Alright, so there's the 10. So now next turn, we'll see Booyan is going to be stunned next turn. <laughs> Alright, cool. Um, all right, I'll, I'll just come back on Booyan's next turn. We'll see this boy stun. Alrighty, so now we are uh, against Evolution Blue Vegeta. And Booyan was sealed last turn, stunned this turn. Our defense is going to be a little bit lower because he wasn't able to super last turn. Uh, yeah, so, but I do, again, like the design. Like, it feels a little bit more fun to me than, you know, a lot of free-to-play characters and stuff like that that they've done, right? I think... That is an important aspect. Did they make his kit fun? The answer I would say is yes. All right, he got that massive attack buff, which is good because he can't use it. <laughs> okay. Oh, but he can use that, bitch. <laughs> Remember that um, Vegeta is a dodge canceling boss. So you cannot dodge against this evolution blue Vegeta, but you could nullify his shit, which we did right there. All right. There was Booyan. Cool, cool, cool. So we got to see everything that Booyan is able to do. Um, again, I mean, you know, a little bit of... If you remix the kit slightly on, like, an LR or a Dokkan Fest, then, you know, obviously, I would say even give them more. But, you know, it would be some good stuff. I, I kind of like, you know, like, just... Defense wins championships. It's just true. All right, guys. So there was our boy Booyan. Booyan. <laughs> Oh, I love Booyan. That's pretty funny. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what Booyan is rocking here. So this is amazing soft-bodied monster. Booyan. Leader skills, terrifying conquer, category key 3, and 50% of stats. Super attack is the electric ray. He gets 50% defense for three turns, does supreme damage, and has a high chance to stun the enemy. Okay. Passive skill, giant soft monster. He gets two key and 240% attack and defense at the start of turn. He gets 50% damage reduction at the start of turn. Uh, then he gets 240% attack. He lowers enemies' attack and defense by 24% for the turn um, after getting hit. I mean, between that and his stun chance, you know, maybe like if we get like a Dragon Ball Saga Super Battle Road stage or something like that, like he could be good there, I guess. Right, like it, it's certainly. I mean, if you're a free-to-play player, this is gonna be better than I don't know some of the other Dragon Ball Saga characters, right? Uh, then 
after Booyan has been hit seven times in battle, uh, on the next turn, his super attack will be sealed, um, and then he gets minus 20% damage reduction from that turn. Uh, and then after he gets hit ten times, the next turn, Booyan is stunned. And then finally, he nullifies Key Blast super attacks uh, if HP is 50% or higher. I do actually really like when these nullifications have HP restrictions attached to it, but no, like, chance. So, like, the androids are like this as well, 17 18, where they will guaranteed nullify the Key Blast super depending upon the HP. Typically, they're just, you know, like 50% procs. It's essentially a dodge. Right, for like um, 23rd World Tournament Goku, Carnival Goku, uh, Carnival Blue Gogeta, right? Like these characters have like percent chances. Again, it's essentially a dodge. But for Booyan, it's, you know, it, it's guaranteed. It's just you have to have the HP restriction. I do think I, I, I like that better. I, I, I don't know. It depends on your team, but feels like it can be a little bit more consistent, right? Which is good. Uh, Booyan's links are more than meets the eye. Tough as nails, Red Urban Army, Thirst for Conquest. Incredible Adventure, Guidance of Dragon Balls, and Shouting Limit. 12 King Ultimar, 140%, kind of like the normal number. Um, and then kind of a huge issue for Booyan here. We only have two teams. We did use them on both teams in this video. Terrifying Conquerors, of course. Um, and then Booyan is also on the Dragon Ball Saga category team. So let me know what you guys think of uh, Big Monster Booyan. Uh, it's nice that they added him to the game. Even if he's not that crazy, but you never know. Maybe his easy will be nuts. He could p potentially be good for like Super Battle Road, maybe like Battlefield or something like that. There's definitely been way worse characters for sure.